it's room for anyone in the party who wants to uh, subscribe or, or help or what have you. I mean, certainly. Just about the boiler. Certainly, why not? Everybody can uh, be uh, part of the National Party. Now, room in the party is something that you need to describe. Whether you're talking about something which is um, uh, being predisposed to or being part of, which is completely different. So I don't, and, uh, and you have to ask me this question about something else. I don't have people by names and then uh, describe people. I don't think that's fair. The Nationalist Party is a party which has its regulations. The Nationalist Party is a party which is open and is trying to convince as many people as possible to subscribe to its um, uh, not only philosophy or morals or values, but to its proposition to the country. Mm -hmm. But the whole point, there, there are people who have been... When you say the party, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether you're meaning whether somebody wants to vote, whether somebody wants no, to become a member, whether somebody to wants to become... To become active in, in the party, perhaps even contact other doors open for someone like Santa de Bono. I don't discuss individual people because of a very simple issue. It will be unfair to describe... I mean, why Franco de Bono and not because Tim Diacono? No, but because, because, because but why would you pick one person out of 450,000? Because Franco de Bono had, you know, had quite a significant role in you know, so? getting the previous government out so of So many power. people did. Yes. <laughs> About <I don't> 100, <laughs> with, with a, a 40,000 trashing. I mean, a lot of people had yes, something to do with that. But he, had, he was very much I the, am the figurehead of this. And I don't think so. He was. I don't think so. I don't think so. But, okay, Simon Busatino, he was leader, he had said that the doors are closed for Franco de Bono to join the PN again. You've adopted a different stance? I don't adopt stances for people. Okay. I mean, I, so what, you're going to give me an inventory of people? One by one, are they open for this one, for that one? For I don't think it works like that. I think the National Party is here, not to, to, to have a list of people. Who, 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 and, and by open doors meaning what? To, to, to do what? Perhaps to contest an election. I don't think it works like that. I think the procedure in the party is that if somebody wants to contest an election, there are procedures in the party mm -hmm. where the names are um, presented, discussed, etc. And I think it's not my job to actually do that. But that's beside the point. The Nationalist Party is not for uh, the individual name of one person or another and, and the processing of a character. That's that's not my style, at least, completely. Okay. Um, I am much more comfortable talking about the ideas that people have, for example. Mm -hmm. So if anyone has an idea which is good, I wouldn't throw away that idea, or irrespective, the, or, or the person making it. irrespective of who made it. If then you have uh, structures which have to be followed within a party, then they have to be followed. But discussing individual names, mm -hmm. I mean, the nationalist po politics today is becoming so so uh, sectorial in its uh, predisposition. Before it was very bipolar. People vote because they have always voted in one way or the other. It was very bipolarized and very. <sighs> yeah, it was very hard for people to change, you know, because your father's like that and your grandfather's like that and the family's like that. Today, people change every five years and that's good mm -hmm. and people discuss ideas there's an old chinese saying which says intelligent people discuss ideas average people discuss things stupid people discuss people i wouldn't like to discuss people i would like to discuss ideas i would like to debate ideas i would like to see who has the best proposal for our country mm -hmm. and in my mind does government certainly doesn't. I certainly admire Arnold Casola's ideas and um, enjoy his ideas on particularly environmental issues, for example, as I do admire Franco de Bono's ideas, for example, when he used to talk about constitutional reform. Whether then uh, for political, in, in, in the political sense of, of administration, they would fit in a party and its um, uh, mechanisms or not. That's another issue. But to discuss person by person, that's not my style. And again, Arnold Casola or anyone else. I think Arnold Casola 
has contributed a lot to the politics of Malta? In, in, in my mind, yes, I, I, I certainly agree with your statement that he has stood up to what he believes in, which Franco de Bono did at the time also. So that's my judgment.